Hi parents, in this part of the video, what I'll be doing is I'll explain to you on how, like, what type of screws do you use for what type of weights. I mean, a lot of us have that issue that, you know, there's so many different nails, like, oh, sorry, uh, screws. So if you look at it, you have, um, example, you have this screw here, which is certain level, um, how, how? One and a half inch. One and a half, this is one and a half inch. I'm guessing this is two inches, or how, what, how many inches? Oh, uh, that's a, a, a two and a half inch. Ah, two and a half inch. So how do we know what type of nail to use? So example, this part of the video we'll be showing, Mr. Kalai, again the DIY and rich guy, will give us an idea how. Now just a little bit of physics concepts because again, there is no point in shooting these videos if there are no physics concepts. So example here, you've got a, a screw here. So the screw is placed onto the wall. So what it does is, if I'm hanging an object here, I'm actually using moments to keep it in place. You see, because what happens is, you have this object, if you look at this as the pivot, this will be considered as the clockwise, uh, anti-clockwise moment. So it actually uses uh, the concept of moments. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Kalai to show you how or what type of um, picture frame do you use for what type of nails. So I hand it over to him. Hi friends, we have a lot of wall fittings in the house. Okay, uh, wall fittings to be hanged on wooden frames other than concrete. So wooden frames, you got to decide on what is the weight of the photo frame. Is it about? 50 gram instead of 100 gram. So if you have a 100 gram or a 50 gram weight like this, and it's not um, that heavy, so you can just take a basically a one inch screw like this. Okay, it's, it's one inch screw. All right, it's a one inch screw. Just put it into the wall. All right. Then there's a hook there, which is attached to the photo frame. You can just hook it on. Okay, that's very easy. But if the weight is long, I mean it's like maybe a, a two kg or three kg weight, and the weight is spread. So there's always a few hooks on the frame. So the few hooks, you can have few screws to take on the weight. Your, your, you can increase the size of the, the length of the screw from a one inch to a one and a half inch or a two and a half inch screws. Okay, so the weight now is spread using the different hooks. Okay, um, just out of curiosity, like let's say uh, you have a two and a half inch. So what will a two and a half inch nail be used for? Two and a half inch nail, nail. Yes, yeah. uh, screw, sorry. Screw, okay, for heavy weights, okay, heavy weights, you got to make sure the two and a half inch screw goes into the wood, but there must be a secure, very good secure there, so that you can hold on to the weight of about five to 10 kg. And of course, it has to be spread. If it's a compressed weight of about 10 kg, then rather use a, 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 maybe a bracket to hold that weight, not straight on the screw itself, will not hold on to the weight. Normally for a weight like 10 kg, it's always safe to use a bracket. A bracket normally has four or two holes where you put in extra screws, extra wall blocks to strengthen the weight and secure, give you a very good secure of the weight. So there you have it with uh, Mr. Kalai. He has mentioned to you for what type of uh, picture frames, what type of nails you use. So if let's say you have any more questions or maybe you want to find out more or you want to actually further yourself as a handyman or maybe save costs instead of getting an NTUC guy who's going to charge you $80 to put a nail, he can teach it to you and put it for maybe $1 or $2, major savings again. So I hope you have a great day ahead. Thank you.